everybody, how's it going today? Ian back here with you, Entertainment Examiner. Hey, um, I'm going to be reviewing the movie Ant-Man and the Wasp for you. Uh, this is the 20th movie, if you can believe that, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And this is the 10th year of the Marvel Studios movies, um, which began all the way back in, two, in 2008 with Iron Man, which seems like forever ago now. Um, this is Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, which a lot of people will be watching this movie as a follow-up to Avengers Infinity War, which just broke box office records. It was an awesome movie er earlier this year. Um, I think um, if, if you stay for the credits, there's definitely answers to where was Ant-Man in that movie. Um, but but Ant-Man and the Wasp itself really stands alone as a just a fun summer popcorn film. And, and I think that, that, that that's one of its strengths. It doesn't try to be you know, oh, this movie was huge, so we have to try and do it and do it again with this Ant-Man sequel. And that's what that's not what they're trying to do. And I'm glad that they didn't go that route and they make you really care about the characters in, in this movie and what's and what the end result is. Um, we find Ant-Man on uh, house arrest after the events of Captain America's Civil War, uh, where he broke some superhero laws he has been on house arrest, and he is three days away from being done with uh, the house arrest and being able to, to spend more time with his daughter. Um, now, he is estranged from uh, Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas yet again, who invented the Iron Man suit, and his daughter Hope, played by Evangeline Lilly. Um, but as Pym and his daughter try to go into this realm to find their long-lost mother, Janet, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, they need Scott Lang, Ant-Man's help, yet, yet again. So they try to, so they find a way to get him out of his house, which kind of sets the whole movie in motion. Um, I really enjoyed Ant-Man and the Wasp. I thought it was just a fun movie. There are a lot of laughs, and um, if you've seen Ant-Man, you know that he grows really huge and he gets really tiny like an ant and that they control a lot of ants um, and the ants do work for them and I think all of that worked really well again but this time they make buildings big and small and cars and um, they're being chased by some bad guys headed by Walton Goggins and there's there's another plot uh, with a, another villain named Ghost who can move through matter which is really cool. Um, Again, I think Paul Rudd is very well cast in, in this movie as Scott Lang. He has the great uh, comedic skills, but also he's got a lot of charm to him as well. Um, him and Evangeline Lilly make a great team together, and I think Michael Douglas is great yet again, as he always is, and perfectly cast as Hank Pym. Um, we also get good supporting work from Michael Pena yet, yet again as uh, Luis, Lang's former uh, prison mate and now co-worker. And we get a good turn from uh, Lawrence Fishburne, who might not be who he says he is at, at, when we first meet him. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp des definitely ha uh, has a lot of strengths. Um, I didn't quite like it as much as I did the first film, which came out in 2015, actually. Um, it it wasn't, wasn't really any reasoning, just thought I didn't think that this film elevated to that level. But overall, I think that if you're in for a, just a popcorn movie to take the family to, go check out Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's really a fun movie, especially if, if, if you're a Marvel fan or just want like a just fun action comedy. So um, it's out in theaters now, PG-13. Go check it out. Um, that's all I got for this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment down at the bottom. What, what did you guys think of Ant-Man and the Wasp? Do you agree with me? that it was good, or did you not think it was so great th this time around? Um, before I forget, my, my ratings, um, I give it a 3 out of 4 and a solid B rating. So, yeah, well, let me know what you guys thought about Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's all I got for this video, and thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.